there a Democrat you could see yourself voting for? I do like JFK, but I would never vote for him because I, I, I don't want to go Democrat. I really like RFK's platform. It's basically trump light. Could you see yourself ever voting for a Democrat? No. If you had to, I'm not saying that you ever would. If you had to, is there a Democrat you could think of supporting? I don't know, maybe Robert Kennedy. You announced in Philadelphia that you're going to run for president as an independent. How big, you know, you're, you're from one of the most famous Democratic families of all time. How big a step was it to say, you know what, uh, today, sorry, family, I'm going to have to take a step away? Uh, it was it was very painful for me. I mean, my you know I was raised in the Democratic Party. My uh, my father, and my uncles were the were the leaders of the party. What's up, everybody? Major retired Richard Ojeda here, and Bobby might share the same name as our father, but he does not share the same values, vision, or judgment. The Kennedy clan released a statement that said that their brother's announcement was deeply saddening. So leaving the party um, of my, you know, of my family is uh, is very very difficult for me. But it was a choice that I don't I didn't feel that I had a I didn't feel I had a choice about. They denounced his candidacy and believed it to be perilous for our country. That's from his own family. The Kennedys even called out RFK Jr. for the jackaloon that he is. Bobby tried to say that his family's rejection was painful to him, but everyone knew that it was he that turned his back on his family, not the other way around. RFK Jr. is a sellout that has no chance of winning. He's part of the no-labels group that wants to pull votes away from Joe Biden. A Trump-Kennedy ticket? That wouldn't be so bad. You know, I just want somebody that's going to tell the truth. I want somebody that loves this country. They are funded by billionaires that couldn't care less about struggling families or the environment. Their goal is to line their pockets off the American taxpayer. Kennedy is known for pushing COVID-19 misinformation during the pandemic. He tried to throw shade on Dr. Fauci and Democrats for trying to get the country vaccinated. RFK is just another failed politician who's trying to revive his plummeting career. He has more support from Republicans than he does from Democrats. Even Marge the Trainwreck Green has praised his racist rhetoric. It's obvious that Kennedy is in it for the money. And all of the issues that my father believed in and my uncle believed in, if you went down and checked the box, that I would check every box. So I believe that I'm very much aligned with those things. I, I'm aligned with the Democratic Party that stood for the working class, that was skeptical of the military-industrial complex, that was skeptical about corporate control of the government, that was against censorship, uh, you know, violently against, fiercely, let's say, against censorship. Uh, and that did not, was against using fear as a governing tool. He has no plan to help anyone in this country except himself. His own siblings agreed that he would be a disastrous for the nation. Both John and Robert Kennedy Sr. were champions for social justice and fought for the ordinary person. They were loved by their constituents and the Kennedy name has been associated with American royalty. Bobby Kennedy sure fell a long way from grace to get shunned by that group. To have such a high-profile group of people turn their back on you has got to be unnerving. But Junior had already made up his mind, so his boohooing is just for show. Kennedy wants viewers to sympathize with him. He wants to play victim and the hero at the same time. It is often used tactic with the GOP. They like to present all kinds of fictitious problems that they alone have the solution to. What a group of morons. RFK Jr. is not a serious candidate. He's a poser who is trying to line his pockets. He's surrounded by billionaires, not ordinary Americans. RFK Jr. would absolutely be a disaster if he somehow ever got into the White House. The idea of a Kennedy in the Oval Office may appeal to nostalgia in some. The idea of a poser in the office definitely does not. RFK Jr. is not running to better the lives of working Americans. He is running to cause harm to Joe Biden. It doesn't matter what RFK Jr. wants to call himself. Republican, independent, it doesn't mean anything with this jackaloon. He's in it for the money and power that he thinks that the office brings. The entire country should take the cue from the Kennedy clan and turn their backs on RFK as well. He has proven himself to be disloyal and untrustworthy to his own family. What makes anyone think that he would do right by this nation? RFK Jr. is a sellout, and that is an absolute fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.